Coming up on the Monday, January 28th, 2013 edition of Size Eyes on the Skies. We woke up to some dense fog and some slippery roads out there this morning after this weekend's ice storm. But we have some changes in the way, on the way, including a chance for some thunderstorms. We'll have the details next on Size Eyes on the Skies. And good evening, everyone. I'm Corey Hargath. I'm joined by Colleen Melberg. Apologize for that little um, whatever that was there in the <laughs> open. Um, yeah, we're not. We're just going to stop it right there. But now, here in Iowa, or most of us, we got pretty lucky on the ice. We Only did. Only seen anywhere between a tenth and, unfortunately, some people up in far northern Iowa did see up to four tenths of an inch in ice. Especially at uh, eastern Iowa, they were probably the hardest hit with uh, mm -hmm. all the mixed ice and sleet that happened. But some areas, even in Minnesota, got some snow, maybe even up to like five inches. So the system that went through this past weekend was kind of nasty and left those roads for us really slick. Yeah, it was not fun trying to scrape off the car yesterday morning. Uh, I'll no, say that much. I had to punch the ice through my yeah. windows. So. Yeah, hoping not to punch the window out in the process. Exactly. But now we get rid of the ice. But then now we're talking about a chance for severe weather in January. We are. There's a severe threat kind of out in the Arkansas, even in northern Missouri this evening. So we'll keep our eyes out for that. Who knows? We might get a first January tornado out of this. Be kind of rare, but you it can know. happen. But it is January. It is January. But I'm sure you have all the details coming up in a little bit. I do. All right. We'll talk to you in a little bit then. For now, let's go over and talk to Zach. Now, we had that fog this morning. Plus... Sure. A lot of us had to do a little bit of ice skating, too, to get to class. Yes, there was. But right now, the National Weather Service has a dense advisory out till 9 p.m. our time. If we go ahead and take a look at uh, the current visibilities around the state right now, you can see Ames is reporting in at a half-mile half visibility. Des Moines, about an eighth of a mile. But all the way out in Council Bluffs are reporting in at zero, so near zero visibilities in areas. But you mentioned about that ice. We had our models overdoing it a bit here in Ames. In Ames, we reported in at 0.14 inches. And as you saw to the northeast, we had more of that ice accumulation. But if we go ahead and take a look at our evening planner at 8 a.m., you can expect some lingering showers from later tonight. And the temperature around 46 will hit our high around midnight. It will be climbing, and eventually around noon, it will start to decrease as a cold front moves through with a high of 40. But around 3 p.m., we can experience a temperature of 38 degrees with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. But I'll have that wicked weather train coming up in my full forecast. All right, it looks like it's downhill from here then. Thanks. Oh, yes. We're going to send it to our first break, but when we come back, Colleen's back with a look at your national forecast. Size Eyes on the Skies will be right back. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Let's kick it over to the wall now with Colleen Melberg and your national forecast. Colleen, take it away. All right, well, thanks, Corey. Let's take a look at our current temperatures across the nation right now. 39 in Chicago, but look at this, 67 in St. Louis. You definitely see where that warm boundary is starting to fill in. It's, it's almost 70 degrees in St. Louis in January. But if you head up towards the west, 33 in Billings, 30 in Denver, and all the way out east, 36 in New York, keeping those temperatures kind of mild for us. Highs this afternoon for us, 59 in Atlanta, 78 in Dallas, 74, like I said, in St. Louis. You can see that warm air is starting to come up from the Gulf and it might be firing off some storms for us late in this evening and into tomorrow as well. For tomorrow, you can see highs 70 Atlanta, 68 St. Louis, and 63 in Chicago. Keep it nice and mild for us in January uh, for us in the Midwest. But head over to the West, Denver, 37 and 58 in Phoenix, currently for tomorrow. So as you can see, some thunderstorms will be popping in for tomorrow, especially this evening and into tomorrow morning especially. 
So areas like St. Louis and even Springfield, uh, Illinois, you definitely want to keep an eye out for those areas as those will probably be where the strongest storms might occur. Minneapolis will stay chilly as usual, 33, and even out towards Pierre, South Dakota, it'll still be kind of chilly and cloudy for us. Looking at our maybe clouds and radar right now, you can see all that uh, icy storm that went through earlier this weekend is now pushing off towards uh, the northeast and that snow and mix is starting to hit in New York and even up towards Maine. But as we move over to the west, you can definitely see where that snow is starting to move into South uh, Dakota. But all where this uh, line of storms is is where a cold front is and that warm front is starting to push in as well. Future cast for us, you can see where that warm sector is right along the southern border of Iowa and uh, Missouri. And that's where, especially along here, where those storms might begin to fire up later this evening and overnight. And the cold front is also draping off towards Texas. Move off into Tuesday, and you can see another low starts to form right off this cold front in Kansas. This will start to pop out in some more rain showers down towards Dallas and Oklahoma City. But as we zoom across even into Tuesday uh, evening, you see that even another cold front pops off. So you can see we have three cold fronts across the nation right now and a warm front that moves off into the northeast, bringing uh, some temperatures for us. And uh, if we move <laughs> even further into uh, Wednesday at 6 p.m., those rain showers really start to line up, maybe some locally heavy rain in the Ohio Valley, especially Indianapolis, as those cold fronts drape off and definitely bring in some mild temperatures, especially for the northeast and areas later on. So we'll keep an eye on that as we move later on into the week. Uh, current warnings out today. You see a dense fog advisory is in for uh, our area, as you could probably notice, maybe walking around campus today. It's definitely very, very foggy. And if you move up towards like Minnesota, maybe you have a winter storm warning. You might see some snow and maybe some ice mixed in with those areas. So definitely keep an eye out as we move into later tonight and into tomorrow as those systems start to make uh, their way through. All right, city for the week, Indianapolis. You can see as Tuesday night and in, uh, into Wednesday, those uh, thunderstorms, and some of them may be locally severe, will start to move through their area and dump some much needed rain probably to that area. And later on in the week, you probably won't see any of that sunshine, but maybe a few chances of some snow flurries later on to the weekend for them. That's it for your national forecast, and we'll take it back to Corey at the desk. All right, thank you, Colleen. Let's take a look at the trivia question for tonight. We're going to keep it on the topic of storms. Which type of cloud is normally associated with thunderstorms? Is it stratus, cumulus, cumulonimbus, or cirrus? We'll answer that question, plus take a look at your Iowa forecast when we come back. And welcome back to Size Eyes on the Skies. Let's take another look at that trivia question for tonight. To recap the question, which type of cloud is normally associated with thunderstorms? Stratus, cumulus, cumulonimbus, or cirrus? And our answer is cumul cumulonimbus. I can pronounce that on a good day. But with that, let's go ahead and send it over to Zach Sharp with a look at your Iowa forecast. Zach? Uh, thank you very much, Corey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm meteorologist Zach Sharp with your Iowa forecast this evening. Current outside our studios, it is 36 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, a light mist out there with a wind out of the east at 8 miles per hour, and that humidity is really up there with 100% causing that dense fog advisory which we have currently outside. Currently 36 in Ames, 39 in Ankeny, but looking 40 in Des Moines, which is pretty warm, 36. We are quite above average for this time of year, but if we go ahead and zoom out across the state right now and see across current temps, Mason City just sitting at 32 degrees, so right at freezing, Ottumwa at a very warm 42, and a wonderful 46 all the way out in Council Bluffs. Now taking a look across the regional, if we just jump about 100, 300 miles or so, look at that, Kansas City reporting in at 69 degrees. This is all because of a warm front, and eventually this will work its way up into the state overnight, leading to warmer temperatures. And because of this, tomorrow's highs, Des Moines at 50 degrees, 46 in Ames and Ottumwa all the way at 57, but if you look, it's even warmer down into Illinois, and which will be reading to some record highs across areas, but not in Ames we are expecting, as the record high is 58 for this time of year in Ames. But taking a look at current winds, we have west winds out of 8 to 12 miles across the whole entire state right now. But if we go ahead and zoom back at clouds of radar, we can see that all of our state is under the presence of these low stratus clouds, bringing in a cloudy, gloomy day. But if we zoom out, across the region, we can expect that there are these snow showers, and then right now there is a low pressure system sitting over Colorado, and eventually it will work its way up, bringing some rain showers and possibly some snow showers 
and to our area over the next 24 hours. So let's go ahead and step through your future cast here. And you can see that warm front right now is sitting across southern Iowa, which is why Kansas City is very warm right now. And eventually, it will work its way as this low pressure comes through, bringing in some showers and possibly some thunderstorms. So you may hear rumbles of thunder tonight around midnight. And eventually, this all starts to fill in across the state as this cold front starts to work its way through across the area about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. But if you notice on the backside, some snow showers are in the presence, which could lead to some nice snow showers. But in front of it, we could have some severe storms, which our colleague mentioned earlier, all the way down in the south, which is that has moderate risk right now. But those snow showers start to really fill in. I think our models are a little slow with this, but it looks like tomorrow morning we could have some snow showers leading to some nice accumulations down into the southeastern part of the state. But if we take a look at forecasted rainfall, you can see around 7 one-hundredths of an inch here in Ames, 19 one-hundredths of an inch, but the Tumwa is reporting it at a night 75 one-hundredths of an inch, which is bringing us nice rain. But if we take a look on the back side of this cold front, it's some snow. I think our models are underdoing it a bit, but I could see Ames reporting in around an inch and a half, but out in Ottumwa, two and a half inches, Davenport, 3.6 inches. So some nice snowfall after these very nice warm days. But if we take a look at tonight, 41, our temp will be rising throughout tonight. So if you go out about one o'clock in the morning, you can expect temperatures in the 50s, but that rain will be moving in with a 70% chance of rain, but those winds out of the west at eight to 12 miles per hour. But tomorrow, our temperatures will hit 46 early morning, and eventually the rain will end early morning, but it will be mostly cloudy. But our temperatures will be falling throughout today as that cold front makes its way across the state. But taking a look at the seven-day forecast, like I said, tomorrow those rain showers early, a few lingering snow showers and rain showers on Thursday with a high of 21. On Thursday, we start to bring that sunshine back with a high of 12, and on Friday, 21. But by the weekend, we start to finally warm it up. Around Saturday, we can expect a temperature of 32 or so. But for then, the time being, by next Sunday, it looks like 40. But after today, those very cool temperatures on Thursday and Friday. Yeah, so like I said earlier, it's all downhill. Oh, yeah. That's it, all you got to say. It's a, it's sum it's, up the rest of the it, week. It's a roller coaster of temperatures right now. Thursday and Friday is going to feel cold, though, because well, yeah. we're so warm right now. Yeah, yeah. I have 12 on Thursday, but I could see it even getting down to 10. And yeah. overnight lows of negative 10. Oh. Bring back the 50s. Chilly. Yeah. And I'm sort of jealous of our uh, counterparts uh, that went down to Kansas City tonight for uh, some s storm chasing. Possible but storm action, maybe. Yeah, let's be honest. Let's, they just want barbecue in Kansas exactly. City. Exactly. So. Yeah, basically. <laughs> but then the 70 degree temperatures. Who wouldn't want 70s and barbecue? And I can go down in shorts in <laughs> yeah, January. There you go. And yeah. you only have to travel three three hours. So exactly. it's not like yeah. you have to go so to south. While they're doing that, we're still. In, Still dealing with some slick spots and yes, it was very freezes, slippery. It's going to be even worse. Although I must say, I didn't see anyone slip this morning. Uh, you like, should have seen me, I though. I was did. a mess. <laughs> I, there was a few times I caught myself, but I didn't see someone take a complete fall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah I've, I've heard of people that did, but and, you, know, you never want to do that. Because if you land wrong, you just break something. And, exactly. And now it's and not a good time to. <laughs> yes. But I know Nate, being from Wisconsin, he told me that the Milwaukee, the Mo Milwaukee, sorry, <laughs> forecast discussion had some interesting. You know, they're going to go from record highs tomorrow yep. to three to five inches of snow the next day. It's quite a turnaround. Only to open in the that. Midwest. Yes, yeah. yeah. We, we thought only in Iowa, but no, really in the Midwest. <laughs> oh no, it's like this in Minnesota too. Well, yeah. Don't worry. Can't but, escape it. And then, and then that moderate risk down in the south. Yeah. yeah, we we have some really interesting but, storms happening all across yeah, the area. Yeah, so we're talking about the ice a little bit mm -hmm. here. And our own Bryce Link actually went out to Ada Hayden yesterday morning and shot some video. Do we have that where we can show that? I know he made it on the ABC there it is. Nightly News last night. Yeah, this is a different video that, okay. than what he showed, but you can just see the... The icicles. Yeah, the ice just glazing out there at Ada Hayden yeah, yesterday Ames, morning. Yeah, Ames reported in at 14 one-hundredths of an inch. Mm -hmm. uh, we were expecting it sort of to melt off yesterday afternoon as temps rose, but since temps... Hovered around 33, 34. It didn't really get melt off until today when we, we hit the 40s. We just had fog move in instead. Well, yes. You can see, like, off this video, too, how much it created, like, the grass or anything to wither just because of how heavy that ice yeah. was on Luckily, it. Luckily, we didn't have very many power outages from it's this. true. We got very lucky with yes. that. Yeah. But now, all right, before we go tonight, we'd like to invite you all to a fundraising opportunity that will benefit our meteorology department and us here. And it's going to be at Buffalo Wild Wings here in Ames a week from today. And here I have some of uh, the tickets that you can get and just give this to your server when you show up or mention to your server that you are with the ISU AMS. Then we will get a portion of the proceeds from your bill. And this does run all day next Monday, 11 a.m. until closing. 
So we'd love to see you out there and benefit our meteorology it department. Really, it really goes toward a good cause. And yes. eat some delicious wings. Who doesn't love that? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but you, what, I think you can find it on Facebook, right? Yes. Can we find it underneath our own Facebook? Yes. Just go to the Size Eyes page and like it. Or and what then, about Twitter? Can we find it on Twitter? I have not put it there uh, yet, but well, you gotta I can give definitely it get it up more. there. Come on, give it the I can definitely more. get it up there later. <laughs> okay. But just go to our Size Eyes page. I put up the <laughs> tickets earlier before the show. So go ahead and download it. Get it to all your friends. We'd love to see you all out there. But with that, I think we're going to go ahead and call it a night. So from all of us here at Size Eyes on the Skies, have a great night. We'll see you on Wednesday.